Far removed from the somewhat sinister tales of Canudon, Essex can boast to having the oldest wooden church in the world. In the picture postcard village of Greenstead near Onga stands an old Saxon church which was built around 650 AD. Cut from old trees, this small but impressive church certainly had Celtic origins and is perhaps why it was dedicated to St Andrew, who was martyred some 60 years after the crucifixion of Jesus. It was not until St Sed, a Saxon trained at the Celtic monastery in Lindisfarne and based at Bradwell in Essex, began his Christian conversion in around 654 AD that the original church was built. The devil is traditionally believed to be an evil creature who fell from the grace of God and ever seeks to win the souls of those who would tread the straight and narrow way. Since the Middle Ages, many legends and superstitions have built around this archetypal image. Essex has its own devil stories, and many local legends surround this hideous creature. It appears that the devil takes a dislike to certain Essex churches, such as here at Danbury. According to the Hollingshed Chronicles of 1402, the devil appeared one evening in the village of Danbury entered the church dressed as a grey friar and behaved quite outrageously, putting fear into the local parishioners. At this time a violent thunderstorm raged, which blew the roof off the church, causing the chancel to be torn into pieces. Then, according to the legend, the devil, taking an even greater dislike to Danbury, returned to steal the fifth bell from the tower and dropped it a short distance away in a wood known today as Bell Common, opposite to the Bell Public House, where it's believed to be buried to this day. So strong was the superstition that even though the bell was replaced, no ringer would dare toll the new bell. Such was the devil's aversion to church bells that he made every attempt to prevent the building of a bell tower. But it seems the villagers of East Burgold had the last laugh. They built a truncated tower on the church and housed the bells in this wooden cage in the corner of the churchyard. Local legends about the devil are wide and various. Villagers believe the evil one comes dressed in many guises. There's a strange legend concerning a priest from the village of Runwell named Renaldus. It appears that he was not the local parish priest, but a locum standing in for his sick colleague who was confined to his bed. Renaldus was thought to have dabbled in the black arts and one Sunday morning in the middle of his sermon the devil appeared to emerge from the priest's mouth. The congregation was so astonished that they couldn't move for fear. Because of his knowledge of the devil the priest took action to avoid disastrous consequences. He jumped down from the pulpit and raced towards the church door with his protagonist in hot pursuit. So fast and furious was his enemy travelling that he was unable to stop at the church door and began clawing at the woodwork. Disbelievers of this story will find today the devil's claw marks on the north door of the Runwell Church. Other devil's doorways in Essex may be found at the churches at Rettenden, Benfleet, and at Great Wakering, some of which have now been bricked up. But there's no evidence to substantiate that the devil ever appeared in Sybil Headingham, but visitors to the local church may find a horned figure scratched onto a column. <laughs> 